My name is Rocío López Posadas from the gastroenterology section at the Department of Medicine One at the University Hospital in Erlangen, Germany. With a focus on inflammatory bowel disease and colorectal cancer, our research tries to identify pathways controlling epithelial homeostasis, which could be exploited for the treatment of patients. It is my entire pleasure to guide you through this video presentation of our study recently published in GAD entitled Epithelial Rack Dependent Cytoskeleton Dynamics, Control Cell Mechanics, Cell Shedding and Barrier Integrity in Intestinal Inflammation. Epithelial barrier function in the gut contributes to tissue homeostasis to avoid inflammation. Therefore, epithelial turnover has to be tightly regulated to guarantee barrier function. Physiological cell shedding allows the renewal of the epithelium without compromising barrier function, while pathological cell shedding has been associated to permeability defects in chronic intestinal inflammation. In this study, we investigated the role of live cell extrusion in alterations of epithelial integrity contributed to inflammatory bowel disease pathogenesis. Taking advantage of genetically engineered mice, intravital microscopy, advanced imaging techniques, mechanobiology, organoids and RNA sequencing, we analyzed cell shedding alterations in the gut. Moreover, we examined gut tissue and intestinal organoids from IBD patients. Cell intrinsic phenomena upon inhibition of prenylation within intestinal epithelial cells led to permeability defects in mice, supporting our hypothesis of epithelial barrier defects as cause of intestinal pathology. The analysis of epithelial turnover suggested an early arresting of cell shedding on deletion of PGGT1 beta within intestinal epithelial cells leading to cell overcrowding. Transmission electron microscopy and high-resolution stellaris confocal microscopy confirmed the alteration of cell shape and actin cytoskeleton within ICs located at the villa tip in GGTA's conditional knockout mice. To identify alterations of cell mechanics, we analyzed freshly isolated ICs via real-time fluorescence deformability cytometry. Shortly on PGDT1 deletion, GDTA-sufficient ICs are characterized by a decreased Young's modulus, indicative of increased deformability. Among prenylation targets, we identified RAC1 as a key player for intestinal epithelial homeostasis. Newly generated mice carrying RAC1-deficient ICs showed a significant barrier function breakdown, as well as sign of cell shedding, arresting, overcrowding and cytoskeleton rearrangement within intestinal epithelial cells. Strikingly, experiments with organoids indicated the occurrence of primary epithelial alterations. For instance, 3D traction force microscopy revealed outward directed deformations indicative of forced relaxation in GDTAs and RAC1 deficient organoids. We then analyzed the correlation between cell shedding and intestinal leakage in gut tissue samples from IBD patients. Inflammation is associated to signs of cytoskeleton rearrangement, cell shedding arresting, and epithelial overcrowding. The analysis of protein expression and subcellular localization within ICs showed the shift in RAC1 apical localization in patients with IBD, and they decreased expression on inflammation, both indicative of RAC1 dysfunction. RAC1 function can contribute to cytoskeleton rearrangement within intestinal epithelial cells contributing to epithelial homeostasis in patients with IBD in a mechanism related to cell shedding. RAC1 function within intestinal epithelial cells could be exploited for epithelial restoration for the diagnosis and treatment of IBD patients. Epithelial cell mechanic alterations could be used for the identification of epithelial leakage in IBD and even for the prediction of flares. Pharmacological inhibition of RAC1 in patients with IBD could have a deleterious effect on epithelial integrity.